Hey buddy, Brick Baron's back, man. Let's get right to it. We got the Luke's Land Speeder from 2017, retail price of $20, great looking set. And man, I'm telling you what, if you love Star Wars, and I was a kid, well, a little kid anyways, I had most of these figures. Um, did not ever have a Land Speeder. If you have one of these still sealed in the box, these old Kenner ones, uh, it can fetch about between $250 to $300. So not really huge dollars, but certainly um, something, man. Uh, it's, it's interesting when I look back, I didn't have many of the actual... Uh, ships or play sets that went with these um, these action figures from the movie. I had all the figures, but none of the play sets. So I'd love to get some of these somewhere down the line. But uh, yeah, I'm into Lego now, so that's the way it goes. Lego did do um, a land speeder back in 1999. It was the first one they did. Retail price of $6, current value of $33, parts value of $34. It's a nice looking set. Now, it's very primitive, granted, I give you that. But um, it, it does do what it's supposed to do. It was their first time doing it, and the set is currently reselling for minus 1% of its parts value. So, um, yeah, the longer these sets are out there, um, you know, the better they do. So what about Luke's Land Speeder? Kind of getting back to that. There's a lot I like about this set. Uh, first of all, each time they do the Land Speeder, it gets a little bit better each time. The selection of minifigures was, it was a great choice for this one, I felt. I know you don't have R2-D2 with it, but he's in so many other sets, he's easy to find. And I really like this set, and um, let's move forward. So speaking of the minifigures, you do get four of them with this set. Now, if we look at the previous Land Speeder, which had two minifigures, their total price was 17 average of 8.5 each, representing 130% of the set's original retail price. Now, in, in the Luke's Land Speeder of 2017, we have four minifigs, total of 20.5, average of 5.1, representing 101% of the set's retail price. So in other words, you buy the set even at retail, um, the figs are, are, you've already gotten your money back just on the figs by themselves. That's a really healthy sign. Uh, parts value. Again, the spread looks great. Uh, you have parts value of 37 with a retail price of 20. Um, it's almost a 40. I mean, that's great. That That's uh, one of the better spreads I've seen, um, even on these small sets. Two years after retirement, what do you got? You got 37 on the parts, minus 1%, putting around $36. Or you can look at it like $20 retail price plus the 16% uh, appreciation that the old land speeder got, putting around 23. So already within two years after retirement, this set is already creeping um, into that 10, 15, you know, maybe 20% profit margin. That's that's pretty accelerated for these uh, smaller sets. Eight years out, what do you got? You have $44 projected on the parts, minus 1%, putting around 43, and you got $20 retail price plus. Um, based on the previous set, the appreciation would be 128%, putting you around $45. So the two numbers match up pretty close on this one. And I, I, we're going to go with that. I say about 44, 45, which would indicate a doubling um, within eight years, before eight years, which is really, really good. Um, bottom line, this is one of the biggest bangs for the buck I have seen for a while with these smaller sets. It, it, it's screaming out to me right now that this is a, a must-buy um, even at the retail price. Now, if you get it on sale for 20% off or 15% off, that's even better. Now, I will share that I have seen several times on lego.com um, the set was sold out a couple times, so um, that's always a good sign, too. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I will be back in the future with another investing video. And um, hey, man, just enjoy and peace out. See ya.